today I'm gonna show you how to flash a custom room in Sony Xperia E1 Dual. Please note the model number D2105. First you need to root your device, unlock the bootloader and flash a custom room sorry custom recovery. To unlock the bootloader and flash the custom recovery we recommend flash tool. First step is to reboot your phone into recovery mode. To do that you should turn off your phone and switch it on again and frequently press this volume down button and it will uh, a green button will show here and you are successfully booted into recovery mode first you will see this screen in recovery mode now you should back up your car current room so that you can go back to your uh, old room if you have any problems with your new room to do that you should click backup and restore here then backup to storage sd card one to start backup now as you can see the backing up of current room has been completed successfully now press this key then go to the main screen of recovery mode next you should prepare for installing your new ROM to do that you should click on this wipe and format options next you should factory reset your phone click yes Now your phone has been factory reset. Next you should clear this cache. To do that you should click on wipe cache. Click on yes. After that you should click on wipe Dalvik cache to clear the Dalvik cache or art cache. Click on yes. Now you have been prepared for installing the new ROM. Next you should uh, install the new ROM. To do that go to the main screen of the recovery then click on install zip and you should have your rom zip in your sd card and next you should click on in in choose zip from storage sd card next you could you should locate your rom in the sd card I have this Xperia Airspeed Dual ROM. Click on that. Click on yes. Now it will install the new ROM. And see the installation has been done successfully. Click on back button and go to the main screen. Next you should install open gaps. This is, that is Google Apps for this ROM. Again select on install zip choose zip from storage slash sd card next locate your open gaps um, zip click yes install now as you can see it is installing open gaps you can download this from the link given in the description After the open gaps has been installed correctly, go to the main screen. Next you should again wipe the Dalvik cache, clicking on option, wipe and format option. Next you should click on wipe Dalvik or art cache, click on yes. Now the Dalvik cache has been wiped, next you should reboot your system. 
to do that you go to the main screen click on report system now click on yes it will take a little time Now it's getting bored. Please be patient because it takes a little while. As it is in rebooting the first time. Now you have successfully installed your custom. Please do this at your own risk and I will not be responsible if you have any problems. The links for the required items shown in this video is given in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like. If you have any doubts, please post it in the comment section.